I'm Cole Gaiman. In this video, we'll go over Expo application services and how we can use them to deploy, build, and submit our Expo React Native apps. Let's get started. First things first, what is EAS? As stated on the official website, Expo application services, EAS for short, is a set of deeply integrated cloud services for Expo and React Native apps from the team behind Expo. There are currently three services offered as part of EAS. EAS Build, which allows you to compile and sign your native apps in the cloud. EAS Submit, which allows you to upload your app to popular app marketplaces from the cloud. And EAS Update, which allows you to quickly push updates to your app on the fly without having to republish. EAS Update is currently in preview and likely shouldn't be used in production apps just yet. For this video, we'll jump back into the Absurd Anecdotes app and we'll walk through the build and deployment steps for a React Native Expo app using EAS Build and EAS Submit. Before we move forward, let's walk through the steps for building and deploying an Expo React Native app. Step 0. The first thing we want to do before anything else is to test the functionality of the app with Expo Go. Once we've confirmed it works as expected, we can move on. Step 1 is to create and test an internal distribution build. This will allow you to run your app on your own device without the constraints and limitations of the Expo Go app. You can test anything that requires native code or deeper integration with the device. Next, step two is to create a production-ready build. This is the build that your end users will receive. Finally, in step three, you can deploy to app marketplaces with EAS Submit. Note that if you plan on using an ad hoc distribution tool like TestFlight or Google Play beta testing, you should still follow the directions in step three. Now let's jump into the code. I'm working in VS Code, but of course, all of these steps will work in any text editor, IDE, or even your terminal. All of the commands used in this video will be available in a GitHub gist that you can find in the description. Before you execute any commands, make sure that you have the Expo and EAS CLIs installed. First, let's go ahead and run the app in Expo Go. Open up the terminal and run Expo Start. From there, you should be presented with a QR code. Scan the QR code on your phone and it will launch in Expo Go. Once you've confirmed your app functions and expected in Expo Go, we can move on to creating an internal distribution build. Run EAS Build Configure. This will enable EAS in your project. If you're gonna run your app on iPhone or iPad, run EAS Device Create to register your device with EAS. Follow the steps provided on screen to register your device. Next, run yarn install dash dash dev expo dev client. This package adds useful developer tools to your development build. Once the package is installed, jump into your app's entry file, in this case app.tsx, and import the expo dev client package. Then you can run eas build dash dash profile development choose your platform, and continue from there. This command will send your app code off to be processed and built by the EAS cloud servers. You can safely terminate the command and head over to your Expo dashboard. From there, you can see your recent build and install it to your device once it's completed with a QR code. Test your app and confirm it works as expected. Great, now we can move on to creating a production-ready build. Before doing so, make sure your app is signed properly. You should follow the official Expo documentation on how to do so, and the link will be in the description. Once you've signed your app, you can simply run EAS Build. From there, choose your platform and follow all of the steps Expo asks you to complete. Like the previous EAS Build command, this will send your app code off to be processed and built by the EAS cloud servers. You can safely terminate the command and then head over to your Expo dashboard. When the build is complete, you have successfully created a production-ready build. Nice work. Now that the production-ready build is complete, we can submit it to app stores. This step is actually very simple. Just use the command EAS submit and EAS will do the heavy lifting for you. 
Once your app is submitted, it will usually take a bit for the app to process. Expect anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours. After that, you can submit your app to the marketplace of your choosing.